just focusing on the, on the stock price, you mm -hmm. saw this almost 50% drop between 2018 and mm -hmm. early 2020. Mm -hmm. It's since rallied mm -hmm. around 200%. You're looking at almost record highs now for Baidu's mm -hmm. share price. Do you see that as a validation from investors for this strategy change, this focus on AI, on autonomous vehicles, on semiconductors? I think our strategy has not changed much over the past two or three years. It's that the, the market takes time to realize that uh, you know, autonomous driving or AI has big potential and by doing uh, is having a lead on, on that. So I'm happy that uh, the market has started to pick up this kind of message. But for us, we've been investing not for one year, not for three years, not for five years. We've been investing in AI for more than 10 years. Mm. We, we, we probably lost a lot of money by doing this, but uh, uh, I, I think eventually this will, uh, this, this will, uh, we will be rewarded by, by doing this. Uh, for the most part of the, the past 10 years, I, I think investors did not appreciate that. So we were kind of feel lonely by, by, by doing that. But uh, uh, it, it really uh, in line with, with our mission with my personal um, dream, and we, we, we're not done yet. We, we're far from done. We will continue to invest for the next 10, 20 years, and uh, our, our pace of investment will not slow down. We will continue to, to add more to, to our uh, R&D uh, budget so that we will maintain this kind of lead. I, I'm uh, very uh, confident, and also I'm very determined we uh, we spend the money very well, and uh, we will continue to do that in the future. You've raised about 230 million US dollars to develop the chips mm -hmm. unit of the mm -hmm. business. What are you yeah. hoping to achieve ultimately? So we, we started this kind of uh, chip design quite a long time ago mm. uh, with a very simple uh, reason. We want to save money for our servers. Then all of a sudden, I realized this is not just for Baidu. It's actually a lot of industry, a lot of other companies also want this kind of uh, high-end AI chips. And uh, w we need to also uh, continue or double down the investment so that uh, we, we can have better cost performance for, for the Kunlun chip. The, the Kunlun 2 is coming up mm. uh, this year, and so the, the ROI will be three times better. And uh, there might be other needs for other type of uh, AI chips. You have a partnership with Geely, mm -hmm. one of China's biggest car makers for autonomous electric vehicles. What is the aspiration with that partnership? We kind of uh, realized it's probably better for us to make our own cars, right? That way we can do from software to hardware, from end-to-end -end integration of all of the latest technology into one car and push it to the market as soon as we, we, we're ready. Uh, but uh, we realized that uh, we have never built cars before, and we need help. And Geely is a natural uh, fit. What's the production time frame? How many mm. units are you targeting? Well, uh, yeah, <clears throat> a car, it, it, it really uh, typically would take about three years to, to get a car onto the market. We will try to you know, get it to, on the market sooner rather than uh, later. B before 2024? It sounds like. That's right. That's okay. Right. Switching focus. The regulators here mm -hmm. are now squarely focused on an anti-monopoly regulatory change, reining in financial technology. How do you think the technological regulatory environment is going to change in China? How is it going to impact a business like Baidu? I think antitrust is also good for innovation. You just cannot imagine, you know, the, the number one and number two guy all of a sudden merge and gaining more than 90% of market share in the U.S. But that happened quite a few times in China before. That's not good for innovation. So I think uh, that the antitrust push is kind of justified. You studied in the U.S., of course. You built an incredibly successful business here in China. Where do you think the U.S.-China relationship is going ultimately? Well, I don't have the crystal ball, but uh, uh, my preference is certainly that uh, the, the, both countries can work together. And I, I think by working together, a lot of things can be done faster and the, the world will be better off. 
we will benefit from a, a large, very large market and the government policy to uh, encourage innovation. But we also benefit from, uh, fit from our U.S. partners. They, they supply parts, they, they help us to, to grow faster. I very much like to stay coupled instead of decoupled. <laughs>